What a crazy time. We are rebranding from Daniel James Media to DJM.Design. What can you learn from this? How can you grow as a company? Why are we different as an agency? And what is this whole hybrid economy that's going on? So let me talk about it and let's get right into it. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm going to do it all for you. Come along and see us. My name is Daniel James Vandenberg and we used to be Daniel James Media. We've changed and pivoted from that to kind of make a more engaging and a brand that's outside of just my name and more geared to our freelancers, our co-workers and more geared towards you so that it can exist without me as a business owner. So we do multimedia, web design, we're very specialized in that niche and we've expanded into like home builder companies, industrial, manufacturing and that's really been a good niche for us to pivot. One of the biggest ways we get clients is through vendor programs, vendor partners and relationships like that. I'll show you the brand on the video right here to see what we look like. That is a very good scaling technique is using vendor partnerships, relationships. It's cheaper marketing than like the tree versus the fruit mentality, right? If, if, if you have a fruit, you eat it once, it's done. If you have a build a tree that's a long branded uh, relationship, it's gonna go much further. Like advertising via clicks and costs and mailers, that all costs and you consume it right away. It's one of my biggest, like not secrets, but methods I use in our company. For the freelancers out there and the people and the coworkers working in the company, thanks for being diligent and patient with me. It's been quite an intense process, but we're finally in a really good spot now as a company. What is the hybrid economy, right? So we still, as a brand, we still do design tomorrow together is our slogan. That's just all about, you know, connecting together to make, uh, to make things work. When I talk about hybrid economy, one salary is not enough these days. People need to be doing freelancing they need to be doing a w2 business and they need to be doing like an airbnb on the side we're living in a very strange time where i think with inflation and a lot of other aspects of life it's made it harder for us to cope and navigate so some tips and tricks in this in this economy is to always keep you know your main thing strong make it like your 80 20 rule right 80 percent of your efforts going into the strongest part of the business strongest part of what you do as an entrepreneur as a business owner a marketing director and le leverage that right so what we've done with our content is it's kind of the least affected part of our business that makes an impact so we decided we're gonna do piggyback content we're gonna do content with other creators so do something like that find what's your worst part and let other people help run that ship so you don't have to do all the editing or do all the, uh, the other extra work right have people do stuff for you to leverage that we're out in Redondo Beach California it's beautiful I quickly took a break with my family they were doing their dual citizenship I've already did done mine so it was a good time to like brainstorm and sit down and really reflect on myself figure out like who am I like what am I doing and I need to go back to being like my, my authentic self embracing that and being okay with who I am and not trying to fit all these boxes and I felt like when I was on the media platforms you you, in, you tend to try and do that so my guarantee to myself is I'm going to be more authentic. You know, what is your guarantee to yourself in moving the needle in your business, but still not compromising on who you are, but also not being selfish with who you are and just being real with, okay, what can I do with my strengths as a person and how do I accomplish that? And then how do I impact other people around me? And then finally, how do I make sure that I'm taken care of? You know, like for me, it's am I praying? Am I, you know, getting out and slowing down? Am I jumping in the hot tub? Am I working out? Am I reading? books to slow me down maybe occasionally sitting down and doing something engaging like a game or something that's gonna make my brain kind of deep like kind of make my brain stop take a break think about all the awesome things and then have time to think and compromise those thoughts and then move them into the business something else that is fun to do is to like take 20 minute breaks for every hour or so every two hours and what that do, does is it resets your brain kind of gives you a new thought pattern on how to do things and you're able to be much more productive i even have a couch in my office that's like a recliner and i could basically lay on there take a break and just like peace out for a second come back and i'm fresh for the day i'm ready to retake what i'm doing in that moment for every five minutes I have like a different goal in my calendar. It's pretty busy, but I'm able to get a lot done. I know Elon Musk is of that philosophy as well. 
Uh, I like to see kind of the way he does things. Always a, a fun way to analyze and move forward in that direction. Taking a quick vacation can also help your brain reset. And this gives you a new opportunity to find out what's going on in your life and what needs fixing. When you're in the, the mess of it all and the rigmarole and all that, you're not gonna see the, the areas that are problem areas because you're in that muck. You're in that dirt fighting all these problems, trying to beat things and like get to the next level and it's not gonna work that way. You gotta get out of that mud, take a break, see what's going on from an eagle's eye view. If you're not doing that like on a weekly basis, you kind of start to move off track and uh, lose focus on what is really important to move the needle in your business. Some examples of trips, you know, you could take like a quick little vacation trip to the mountains or to something down the road like a park and just kind of sit there and write down everything that even if it's even if you I, I tend to sit down and as, as I begin writing I'm like man I don't know what to write I don't know where to begin just start writing and eventually your jambled words will start to come together because I'm always on a computer I want to write a little bit to break away from computer life break away from that intensity of computers always in my face I put my screen on like night light it changes it to orange gives my eyes some rest gives my eyes an opportunity to take a break uh, from this blue light that we're seeing every day on our phones and and computers I recommend doing it on both it's gonna definitely improve your lifestyle for uh, if you're on a computer a lot for our rebranding for DJM.design we will do some celebrations with all of your clients and with all the freelancers and everyone involved and for you, those of you out there that have been supporting us over the years, thank you so much. We're so faithful to you guys. You guys are faithful to us. So I'll be letting you know how all of that's going to play out. Let's go. This is a new year with a new brand. I think we can accomplish a lot. Some improvements we've done is we have a very advanced uh, system where our clients can like, communicate to us and our team can delegate, move those projects forward. We have some automated systems to help us with that. We have an 800 number that like, allows each of our people on the team to receive the phone call. So utilize those services, you know, if something's in a hurry or you need it quickly. Outside of myself, you can just kind of move it along in the, the space of the people that we have available. Some other fun things is we're gonna provide stronger services in the web niche that we have, especially for your industries. We've also moved into the playing field where we're able to take a domain. If it comes to the end of its life, like you wanna sell the business or you wanna close the business, some people don't realize they can sell the website and the domain. And I usually see it's one X of your gross uh, because when you sell a business, it's more like five X of the gross, right? So five times your gross profit Profit, sorry, five times your gross income of the business is usually an average sell for a company. Now some companies are more than that, some companies are less depending on the inventory, the valuation and all that. So we're moving into acquisition, uh, domain acquisition and domain sales. So you guys that are out there that want to eventually sell your business, this is a new service that we will offer to you. It's a very cool service that will allow you to kind of move on and retire or do something else. And that's really fun for us. I'm excited to move in that direction. Some other services we've been playing around with is some Google AI advertising. There's this new advertising method where Google will take emails, videos, pictures and just, just like sales copy, put it into five different, six different campaigns, send it out there and Google knows the exact amount of interaction someone needs. So like three video views and two Gmail opens and one image preview, one sales copy that's like really good. It'll take the best of those like, fit, like five to 10 assets and create something that's gonna like make someone e execute a conversion, come and like make a sale with your business. And that is super phenomenal. That is more expensive form of marketing. We like to do, do more natural SEO. We'll be doing city pages, which really help clients. An example of a city page that's doing really well is Gold's Insurance, uh, New Build, Leading Edge Electric. Uh, our company has a city page. You're basically saying that you work in these cities and you're able to take over those cities as well as do like a Google reviews page or my business page, link that to the city and kind of move the brand in that direction, get some more natural leads. Because Google only picks up the leads for that area that you're in, right? So if you have these different city areas, it's a qualification process to go through that, but it's worth doing. It's, it's so powerful. Make sure to watch the video, how to travel cheap on a dime. Super cool content video. I'm still gonna bring you guys a ton of content just in a different form, in a different way. Give me some feedback on that. Give us feedback on the brand. What do you think? What would you change in your brand if you were to redo it and change the name and all that stuff? We're excited to serve you as clients. So enjoy the rest of what's going on in this, this year and keep in contact with us. Let's make it happen. If you're an old contact of ours, recontact with me. I'd love to hang out. We'd love to connect 
connect and do some fun things uh, that, that would be meaningful and give back to you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. You guys are my heroes. You keep the business alive. I keep your businesses alive. We, I serve the business. My team serves businesses and we love that. Like we love to be integrated in what you're doing and make you launch forward as best as we can with as much of the resources that we can. We're still realizing the limitations and not scaling too quickly, right? So we will do that. If you have resources for us, podcasts or connections you want us to be on, let us know. And uh, we're going to be serving you strong this year. I'll see you in the celebrations soon. Cheers. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm going to do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the world